Welcome to a complete guide to finding the perfect dog for you and your family. Dogs are amazing. They love us unconditionally and their loyalty is beyond any other creature on the planet. But with hundreds of breeds to choose from, which breed is right for you? Let's find out. And make sure to comment below to help others with their decision. All right, coming in at number 10, athletic dogs. If you're someone who is always on the go, you probably wouldn't mind having someone to go for a run or a hike with. Consider getting a pointer or a visla or a setter since they are basically built for running. If you are looking for something smaller, a Jack Russell Terrier is also a good choice. Number nine, lap dogs. What is better than chilling out on the couch watching your favorite show? If you're looking for a pooch that will cuddle with you, consider a French Bulldog or a Maltese. They will always be by your side or in your lap. These dogs do not require as much activity as working breeds, so they're always a good choice. Number eight, dogs for busy singles. A lot of people are out of the house and don't always have the luxury of working from home. Keep in mind that dogs are social creatures, but some breeds like the Sharpe or the Basset Hound might be a better match as they don't always need constant socializing. They still need your attention, and remember a dog is a lifetime commitment. But if you are away from home more than you are home, maybe consider a cat. Number seven, dogs for seniors. If you are retired and decided to welcome a new dog to your home, consider a Boston Terrier, a pug, or a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. That's a mouthful. They are affectionate and playful, and they do need a lot of attention, but they're so good at giving it back to someone in need. Number six, dogs for an apartment. Now, if you're living in an apartment, there are some breeds that might do better than others, and size doesn't always matter. The dog's temperament is important to consider. Breeds like a Yorkshire Terrier or a Bulldog might do well with the apartment lifestyle. Some people gravitate towards Chihuahuas, but you might want to think again. These dogs are tiny, but very active. Number five, dogs for multi-pet households. If you already have pets, getting another one can be challenging. Retrievers, Collies, and Spaniels are always looking to socialize, so they'd be good matches. Terriers can be a bit complicated and can be competitive, so generally speaking, these would be less desirable. Number four, dogs that do well in hot climates. Most of us love the summer, but not all the dogs agree with you. If you live where it gets really warm, consider the needs of the dog. Dogs with really short hair would struggle in tropical weather. Most terriers can take the heat, but dogs like St. Bernard's, Boxers, and Samoyeds won't love or do the best in hot climates. What about cold climates? Breeds that prefer a cold climate typically have a double coat and an extra layer of fat. So Newfoundlands, Malmutes, Huskies, and Samoyeds work well here. Number two, what about hyperallergenic dogs? Now there are some who say there's no such thing as a truly hyperallergenic dog but there is some science related to dander and the allergens associated with dander. Schnauzers can be a good choice since they tend to produce less dander. Also, poodles and the many, many poodle varieties would be a good fit. A German Shepherd, on the other hand, would probably not be a good match due to their tendency to have dry skin and dander buildup. And number one, dogs for a newbie. Getting a dog for the first time is exciting and nerve-wracking. Which breed should you start with? There are so many breeds to choose from. If you are new, consider a Lab, a Poodle, or a Border Collie. Those might be a good start. The best thing to do is visit your local shelter. Let them know what you are looking for and that you're new. When you rescue a dog from a shelter, you save the life of the pup you adopt and make room for the shelter to take in one more lucky dog. Whatever you decide, we hope this video has helped you. Do you already have a dog or are you planning to add a new one to your pack? Please tell us in the comments below to help others with their choice. Dogs are simply incredible and you won't regret adding a new one to your home. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel. Thanks for watching.